this is just a little uh, 7 by 10 piece of 200 pound paper. I want to demonstrate a wet paper stormy sky and just a little sketch here. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Wet the paper right to the horizon, right over the trees, right over those distant mountains. Start with a little bit of uh, cadmium orange. It looks kind of brownish, but uh, that's just because of the video. A small amount of uh, cobalt blue mixed in that, just so I'm, I kind of lay the groundwork for the, the stormy clouds that'll go on top. And now ultramarine blue and burnt sienna to create these darks. And it, it's wet enough, you can just see it just explode into the wet paper. And that's what I want. I want that splashy kind of, and even encourage it to come down a little bit. Try and get a bit of a rainy look here in the distance. I want that uh, a little bit of glow the other side of the mountains so that we've got a contrast between these dark thunder clouds and calm sky in the distance. Each brush load being a, a little drier, meaning a bit more pigment, a little less water so it doesn't blossom, wash away the work we've already done here. Paper stays wet quite a while, 200 pound paper. If you get, get the square brush, using it on angles and twisting and turning it. And see if you can tip the paper here a little bit, see if I can get it to run. Well, it ran a little bit. But now when we put the foreground in, I'll just, just dampen the, or you've got this little pond or stream in the foreground and it wants to reflect the same colors that are up in the clouds. You know, take a lot of time with this. I'm just using the same colors, burnt sienna and ultramarine blue, just to get the dark fields or surroundings. Bit of a uh, bit of raw sienna in that combination too. Back to just uh, ultramarine with a little burnt sienna in it to get these distant hills. Sky's totally dry. The paper's dry now. Give it some something here, dark in the center, just to hold your attention, so it's not sort of not totally empty in the middle of the picture. Well, it's just a sketch, so it doesn't want to get bogged down with design critiques here. And hard edges over top of the soft sky, wet, wet sky edges, just put everything in perspective. And with a liner brush, I'll just add a little bit of fussy detail here.
you can do as much fiddling as you like but uh, just a sketch